What up you guys, Drew Cardi here, Young Farmer Weekly. Last week we got a call from our grain buyer. He said, we're getting trucks in, because they're they're having trouble getting trains in to pick up their grain. He said, you can start hauling. We're like, great, we'll line up the grain back. It's perfect, it's all working. It was like two days, three days, we'd be done. Oh no, after our first day they said, no more hauling, you guys are shut off because they got a train, they finally got a train coming in. These February contracts were supposed to be hauled in February. So anyways, we lined up another deal with another buyer. They're gonna take our number one red spring that we worked so hard to get for good quality. They're gonna buy it for feed. Feed wheat that they sell, that they feed to animals. There's a big disturbance in the markets right now. I, I don't know, I'm just, I'm riding the wave right now. So we're gonna haul, we're gonna finish hauling that, finish all the bin bottoms. We got so much shit we gotta do that this, that's what we're doing this week. Hauling grain, fucking, oh, all on top of this, we got truck seed out. So seed's gonna be going out this week. Um, so much work to do on the equipment. We gotta stop talking, let's just get into it. I gotta get a fucking haircut. Well, we go drive to get the auger. You just want to leave the back running, filling that truck? No. Okay. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Oh, get off my truck. Mother. Hey, you mother. Oh, shit. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. It's okay. You ripped me out of the truck. Oh, my God. Brent, what is that? What is that? This is more important than what we were doing. We gotta see, we gotta investigate. Oh my gosh, they're burning. And now we saw it, now we can go home. It's blocking the sun. Can't get my tan on anymore. Look what your dog did, Brent. I'm gonna die, probably. Born to be wild. Did I tell you guys I moved the air drill in front of the shop? Because I did. I did that. I decided on this spot up here because it's it's out of the way. But it's it's not going nowhere. <laughs> I feel like a white dad. You know when he's strapping the doing the straps up on a trailer and he has to tug on him and say that's not going nowhere. <laughs> that ain't going nowhere. It's not working. <laughs> that monitor was supposed to work, save the day. It, it, it didn't. So I have no idea what is going on. These were tucked inside the casing. This is an old repair job. All I saw was this little end sticking out. And I was like, oh, that shouldn't be like that. So I hope to God that this is what's wrong. I'm about done with this. And you're probably thinking, Drew, how are you gonna fix it? How are you gonna do it different? Well, I'm not. I'm gonna do exactly what this guy did. If you're looking to get paid the big bucks, don't do what I did. 
I just did a sensor learn. I couldn't believe it. It's working, you guys. I want to cry. Got another truck coming here. Brent's still trucking seed, man. This is uh, we're getting a pretty productive day here, you guys. We got a we got we're on the ball. And I said, At this point, it's just cram it in here so it fits. Cause we can't, you, there's no, you can't organize chaos, guys. What I'm trying to say is we gotta truck some seed out. Finally checking in. He got me to move this. Uh, I moved the grain back to another yard. What's up, dog? That is how you pop a clutch. We're putting these packer caps on the wheels here. Hey. John's putting packer caps on the wheels. They just wrap around the wheel there, give it some extra support. Cause you know, we got used old equipment. We can't afford nice new things. So we gotta keep patching it together. Brent's been at this non-stop for the last, since Monday. It's Thursday today. Dropping the vac off, we got done. Finally. Brent's just hauling the last of the weed into the elevator and then we'll be done that. Just got a little bit of canola left in a hopper and then, but that's going next week. Yeah, you know what time it is. Oh yeah, oh they're spilling everywhere, god damn. There you go. Aren't I a good brother? He said yes. Pretty well caught up with what I want to do on the tractor, but I'm gonna try and fit this hunt in. Try to whack off a couple more beavers here before the end of the day. I'm a pretty deadly shot, if you know what I mean. Like basically sniper. You know that movie, uh, uh, American Sniper? <laughs> um, I'm pretty much him, uh, Bradley Cooper. Plus I look a lot like him. They are definitely not endangered like they were back in whenever the fur trapping days were. They are alive and they are healthy. And they are flooding us out. We were like, remember we were driving through it with the sprayer, like up to the belly of the high clearance sprayer, uh, cause they had flooded it. And then the road was all washed out and garbage. Like it, it was a mess. See that, all this water should not be here. You never know where these beavers are. Cause I see over there, there's like a piece of, uh, like a bright piece of wood. It's like all the bark, they eat the bark, I guess. Oh man, I touched the, uh, they call it the caster sack. It's like a, a scent pheromone thing for these beavers. It's like where they're marking their territory and stuff. Oh, I touched it on one of the beavers I got the other night. And shit, that's got a wicked smell to it. It's like a stink. It's a, it's an odor you don't want to hang around, but I don't know, you keep smelling your hands. It's like, oh, that's kind of interesting. And then you're like, no, that's gross. And then two seconds later, you're smelling your hands again. It's one of those things. <laughs> Wait, I read this up. It's like, it's kind of a vanilla flavoring. They use it as a substitute for vanilla, I guess, but they call it a natural flavoring. When you see that on a package, that is what is considered natural. <laughs> Beaver butthole juice. See this, this is a tree. You can tell that because of the way it is. The wooden and stuff. A beaver's been here recently. I can tell. 
I'm probably being pretty loud and scaring the beavers away, but there's so many goddamn beavers out here that I don't think we'll have a problem finding any. Look at this, look what I found here. It looks like uh, beaver eggs. See, they're brown, cut like a beaver. So, I think I th these will probably hatch in four to five weeks, counting weekends. And they dig these trenches, and they got enough room to swim down these trenches, and then they go up, and that's the woods over there, and they just work their way down, clumping down all the trees, and eating the bark. Guys, it sounds like I know a lot about beavers. Because I did a thing in 4-H about outdoor survival, so I'm basically an environmentalist. Uh, I know all about the species. And they have flat tails. There's a dugout, an old ass dugout here, and it's like, now it's like kind of expanded into a slough. Um, and the beavers moved in. So I'm gonna go perch up on the edge of the, on the edge of the dugout. Clouds from the north are moving in. It's gonna snow, I don't know if they've taken cover, do they know that, I don't know. I don't think they have a two week forecast to look at, so how do they know? So we're just gonna go with it. I'll sit out there for an hour or something and see what I find. I use my walker to get here. I'm gonna just sit up there. Hopefully my, me getting here didn't scare them. My brother said that the dam is right on the other side of here. So I got a girl up there. Stealth mode engage. You guys gotta shut up. The dam's right there. By the time to be talking, okay? Shut up. That's their house. So I think essentially. and he shoots the wolves and at the very end when he's he's in the den of the wolves right right where they live that is where I am right now Definitely I'm not looking forward to the walk back. Look at that. I'm dying. Walkers are not designed for that. I haven't done cardio in five years. And I said, Hurry up, take me somewhere.